Wow. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, friends. After six years of study in natural resources management and environmental law, I fell deeply, madly in love with that. Look at this beauty. Good morning friends, welcome to another awesome episode. Today we want to transplant our zucchini to bigger pots. So this is our zucchini. I want to show you the steps of how to get to this stage. If this is your first time, you're welcome. We are building our food and garden heaven. I share all my steps to grow affordable food at home. So even if there is a lockdown, you have affordable food. So now I'm focusing on uh, the zucchini, green zucchini. This is how the seeds look like. This is the green zucchini that I'm growing. I bought some uh, seeds from the store. And there are a few seeds and it was, this pack store-bought seeds are expensive. So as I grow my food, I'm also building my, when I harvest, I'll continue building my seed bank. I did a video on how you can create a simple home seed bank. Please watch the video to understand the steps and the importance of having your own seed bank. So you need uh, zucchini seeds and you need a tray. Please invest in buying a planting tray. But if you don't have money to buy a planting tray, you can use an organic planting tray. I've done several videos of how you can create a, an organic planting tray. It's easy, it's zero cost, and, it's, and you can just do it at home in a few minutes. You get a planting tray. So this is the seed here. This is what you want to plant. So you just fix it in like that. Push it in and you cover it. After two weeks, this is what you will get. So I labeled my green zucchini with the date of planting. So roughly make sure, just give it two weeks, you'll get these uh, results. If you do it well. So now the next step is to create our organic planting pot where we're going to transfer our zucchini. The wind is so strong today. Okay, so just get an old cattle from your store and cut the sides. So I cut this sides. I use another cattle box, an old cattle box I have. I cut this side and I split the pieces to create these partitions. So I've created 10 spaces where I'm going to transplant my zucchini seedlings. So they are not going to move around once I add my planting media, my potting mix, they are not going to move around. You don't even need to tape them together, you just position them like that and pour your 
you are putting it or planting media and once they once they are ready you can ever either cut the box open or just lift them up without disturbing the roots even right now we are going to transfer them from the planting tray to this organic planting tray without disturbing the roots So I'm creating a space for all the seedlings. Just position them like that. You don't have to use glue or tape to create the spacing. Friends, here is a close look of our organic planting pot. Lift the tray up. Let's get this one here. And put one finger underneath to get your seedling. See? So easy. Wow, the chosen one. <laughs> Let me bring it closer. See, I've not disturbed any roots. The roots are intact. Let me show you. You see the roots so you have to transplant this to a bigger pot to give it more space to grow so let's transfer our zucchini to a bigger organic pot so you just create a space let's do it here just create space here you make a planting hole here Let me tell you how deep it is. See my finger? From here to here. That's how deep it is. Then I'm just going to put it inside. And now it has found a new home. Then you just cover it. <laughs> looks nice <laughs> looks so nice wow let me bring you closer <laughs> looks so nice see see wow so here these seedlings will have more space to grow till they develop the true leaves that we need and you have to give it a month. So let's transfer the rest of the seedlings. Then I'll show you how it looks. So I'm going to turn and position it uh, towards the edges of the box so that every plant has enough space. And when you're transplanting, it's going to be easy to transplant. I'm just going to reach down and remove it or I'm going to tear the sides of the organic container, organic pots, and you're going to transplant it. So if this is your first time, make sure you like and subscribe and uh, click the notification so that you'll see the progress. This turned out so well. The importance of trans transferring it to a bigger pot. You see here, the seedlings have no support. So they are growing in the direction of light, but also they, are, they, are, they need support. You see? Now see here where we have transplanted this one it has enough support so only this part is left out and here you see that's why the plant is wants to, to lie down because it needs support so let's transplant the rest of the seedlings and this was a slow one I don't know why <laughs> I don't know what happened <laughs> The rest grew so fast, I don't know why this was slow. Okay, let's transfer the rest of the seedlings. Zucchini is rich in vitamin C, so it will boost your immunity. It's also rich in potassium. You can also get uh, good 
quantities of magnesium by including zucchini in your diet. You can get some folate. So you just push your finger through. You get it without disturbing any roots. See? No roots have been cut. I've transferred all our seedlings. I've left this one. I'll get it later. So here is a closed look. Wow. These are the true leaves. This one. Friends, thank you for joining me in this episode. If this is your first time, remember to like and subscribe. I'm going to post more updates. And you can follow the steps how to create a food and garden heaven. You can get affordable food at home. You can create a seed bank where you can be storing your seeds. And even if there is a lockdown, you know you can plant your food at home. The steps are so easy. I give detailed guides. Please watch my videos to learn more. Until next time, friends. Bye.